Accessing the feed now. We're in. Hello, and welcome to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. And I... I'd actually forgotten we had to load into this mission uh, at the end of the last episode as we basically flew through it as time expired. Um, so this is uh, the first part of Alien Cipher again, which means we basically have to do it. Um, we have automated defenses. Now the thing said 11 enemies, but this says 15, which I guess probably means turrets, I guess? A lot of turrets. I would also match automated fences. Now, holy god. This thing's a long way away. So... I'm just wondering, I mean, yikes. Like, seriously, like, yikes. Eight turns. I mean, we better be able to wipe out a lot of these guys, like, promptly, because... Turret, okay. There's one turret. Sectopod Hunter on his own. We probably should try to kill him. Location confirmed. Like, literally this turn. A Violetta, can you see him from here? No. At least not while braced. I'm just wondering if I should try to just set up my brace. I hope you can see him, because if you can't, that's going to be Time really to sad. Double time. Es hora de correr. At least he's coming closer. Good, you can see him. Uh, yeah, I guess so. AP rounds. Okay! Yeah, excellent. Excellent start, everyone. Congratulations. Missing a 91 off the bat. Save that 
I mean, I really don't want to use it right now if I can help it, I think. Bruh, we've missed two 90s on the first turn. <laughs> three 90s on the first turn. We, three of our six squad members missed 90% shots that turn. Oh, of course, and, and they hit a twenty-five. Of course, why would? Why not? Why wouldn't they? Jesus Christ! Elegant score. Uh, I guess we could just study weapon here. Okay. Move into position. Okay. Time to save the day again. So no one else can actually see this. Well, that's two turrets and a Sectopod Hunter down, at least. Moving to Overwatch. Affirmativo, en camino. Affirmativo, cubriendo. And in theory, if they, if someone shows up and they Overwatch, she should get her Overwatches. Oh, I hear... I, I hear people. A regular and a heavy mech, okay? Okay. Hitting this would be nice. Or not, okay. We're just not gonna hit anything this mission, I guess. Okay, cool. You actually have a really good shot on the Spectre, which I kind of want to take. Now, lead the target bypasses lightning reflexes, right? I think. I want to say. Holy God, Marlotta! Use this 290s! Oh boy, we're in trouble.
Oh, oh, that doesn't even shred him. Jesus. Okay. All the rest of your shots are less than shit. I mean, God knows what else is back there. <sighs> if this mech flanking all of us, then all hell. This is starting to look like Mimic Beacon, honestly. Do we have anyone with an actual grenade? Griffin does. If I want to break this Overwatch. I don't particularly want to do, Whatever but I think say. I feel like I might need to. Alright, cool. Just go somewhere where I can't even do anything with you. No problem. can't see the mech here, which is kind of what I okay. really want. I think we've all had enough of you. Now, I would demo except Demoing might not be the worst thing here if we do it on, say, the Spectre. Except you only have one move. Well, you can still do it. So I'm thinking if I stasis the Spectre, that will lock him down. can still take a shot at the Spectre here. I mean, I'm not sure... percent shots this mission already Ugh, this is why things like the stupid kinetic shielding on the assassin is such a problem is because we could just stand right next to her with a shotgun and still miss the way this has been going yeah let's just throw it in the middle of the ass and maybe they'll be stupid and walk into it Oh, well, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, it gives no shits about Mimic Beacon, okay. Apparently, he gets no shits about the Mimic Beacon.
Okay, gentlemen. Do you think you can hit something this turn? Because if you don't, we may all be dead. Thank you. Uh, oh, well, I guess we'll see what we might want to lead the target on. And we basically have to heal here, right? Hopefully it'll move. And not shoot. No, of course. Good teamwork slither to what effect? I mean, it's in high cover now. Good frost bomb something. We might be able to get close enough to frost bomb it, at least. that hopefully it doesn't kill us. I don't know if that ends its funky quarantine crap. Apparently not. I don't want to start running her. Went off the armor. Burning through ammo fast. I hope this doesn't blow her cover. But good, it didn't blow up. How many is that now? Running low on ammo. We can't see this destroyer, so that's good. Well, if he moves in the... All right. Uh... Oh, come on. I mean, that's probably the best thing he could have done, honestly. Yeah, I know. We really need to get damage on this guy. That's gonna blow, he's gonna blow up though, right? But like, I almost feel like I need to. Because he's gonna do more damage. My only hope is that maybe this high cover protects me. Yeah. I mean, I kind of felt like I had to do that, though.
You still only have one move. At least you have a pretty decent shot. Six remaining somehow. You'll be fine. El fuego se acerca. Well, you're gonna have to run over here, probably, so question is what do you see? I'm not even... Can you even get in here? That's my question. We have an Inspire, we might need to use it. I don't know if we can see her if we get closer. So I kind of want to use it where I know I can see her. So I'm just thinking... If we can get, like, here... Then maybe I can run in next time. Got it covered. And just pray to God there's nothing here. I didn't reveal anyone, that's good. Yeah, I know. So there's like one spot where we can see this. Well. I mean, does it really matter? <laughs> Okay. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Oh, you can't see anything because squad site probably. Let's move already. Me muevo 
posición. Okay, you can see something. Major. On the move. Should try to f heal him. Good news, we should have stasis back if that's if that minimal. Uh, I was about to say, anyone else like to take a shot, maybe? Possibly? Hopefully he doesn't take a shot at us. Okay, well everyone took a shot. As per usual, everyone missed their overwatch shots because we never hit overwatch shots. Luckily, this guy shouldn't get to us, but... Obviously, killing this guy is kind of top priority right now. Although we do have stasis. So maybe killing this faceless isn't a bad idea. Do I really want to use my running gun here? Not necessarily. If we use stasis, we're not going to need... Perfect. I mean... Okay. Like, that's not worth it. Oh shit. Advent troops here. Bruh. Okay, this is suddenly <laughs> suddenly really bad. I mean, we still have to stasis the, the sectopod, right? I mean, there's nothing... I mean, we're all just standing out in the open here. That's not horrible. Hey, 
you have missed three, three 90% shots this mission. Not even a good shot. Just thinking, if we can kill this Codex, that'd be really useful. We have the axe. We might have to use that against the Sectopod here. 81. Oh my god! How much damage does this do? Three to four? I mean, I, th I think I just have to take the da grenade damage. He might not even die. Oh, well, I'm gonna try to put her in oh, some sort of cover. Not sure if that's far enough away from the faceless. I'm gonna run over here and hunker, I think. Oh, never mind, I can't. And it didn't even die. Oh my god. How? How? I mean, come on, man. Well, bleeding out, that's better than nothing. Oh, really? Okay, Violetta, can you please, for the sake of all that is holy, hit fucking something, please! Jesus fucking Christ. At least the Sectobot Hunter is definitely dead this turn. Am 
my need to just run away from this faceless for the time being. Uh, let's at least place the defensive mine down, I guess. I think if we kill this faceless, the mission will end. Hey, Violetta, you don't even deserve to get this kill. How many turns? Two. I'm just thinking if for some reason we actually do have to get her out of here. My god, we are lucky to have no one die on that mission after everyone, literally everyone, missed the Sectopod Hunter. I can't believe, I can't believe the shots that we missed. Vile and missed three 90% shots. One of them almost killed Slither because of it. I mean, that mission would have been significantly easier had we hit our 90s, obviously. I mean, MVP my ass. You might have the most kills, but you also... most anti-clutch person I think I've seen this entire campaign. You're not a lieutenant anymore, so... Ugh!
like the only, the one person who doesn't deserve anything this mission is the one that gets MVP, gets promoted, and is still able to fight after this mission. Ah, uh, precision shot, I guess. Nine days is okay. Everyone else is in the infirmary for, until the end of time as usual. At least we got that done. At least the first part, unlike last time. We tried though. Fear of missed shots on Anaconda, okay. They increased their bond level. I don't know what's new. Oh, the, oh, the, the mother brain. What is there? Oh, it can repair itself. I wonder what else it can do. We still have 27 ready, so it's not like we're in a horrible spot personnel-wise. Now, oh yeah, I think I, yeah, I did want to go get the supply drop. Avenger plotting new course. So how long until six days into the vial? Now, we have three engineers ready. I think I'll put like two in here. And like one in here maybe? for now. Those are our last rooms. Fifty-seven days. Recover item from Advent Facility. Okay, so this is the other one that we kind of want to do. Admin will defend the mission objective with multiple reinforcements. Great. Recover items. So this is another hack one, I think. Mission timer increased by one. Now, here's the problem. <laughs> the assassin is probably here, right? You gotta, gotta imagine assassin's gonna be here. Duelist Elite, Purifier Elite, Shield Bearer Elite, Inferno Viper, Lancer Advance, Muton Devastator, Fanatic Crusader, Codex Sectoid. I mean, the, the enemies in general don't sound that bad. But I'm just, I'm just paranoid of the stupid assassin. I think this I want, this is the first month for Show of Force, right? I think. So we could push it to next month. That's not a great sit rep either. I, I just, I'm still just sitting here like, I mean, like you saw last mission, we missed like five or six 90% shots. And against the assassin, I mean, she's just, she's immortal if you do that, basically. <laughs> That's why I have basically zero faith in the ability, our ability to fight the assassin right now. Especially if it's with other units around.
Like, how bad is Show of Force? It's pretty bad, right? Adding more enemies to every mission, yeah. Because, like, I'm just sitting here like, okay. Let's say the assassin's here. And shows up. And even if we face her in a perfect circumstance where it's just us versus her. What are the chances of us being able to actually do anything? <laughs> to her. No, the most likely scenario is she's probably just going to capture someone else, right? Which is why I'm really hesitant to do anything in her territory unless it's just a absolutely necessary. You know, we don't have a loss or anything, so we don't have a situation where we could pick up an easy untouchable with Lefty or something. I mean, we would basically have to get the perfect situation, and I'm not confident that we can. Like I said, this is first month of show for us, which means it should stick around until at least next month maybe by then we will have killed the assassin that kind of depends on <sighs> probably not though right because thinking about the timeline right so um So the black site vials in five days, right? So that would take us down to 11 days left in the month, right? Assuming the forge is even in a region we control. Let's say we go to the forge immediately. We do that. We unlock part three of Hunt the Assassin, right? The... That covert action is probably going to take, what, three weeks-ish? Which means we're going to have to go into... Basically halfway into next month. Um, before we can even fight her, right? And that's best case scenario. So, she could still get an attack off on us, even then. Although, it's probably more likely later in the month. But not guaranteed, I don't think. And the chances of us getting more um, dar uh, more counter dark event stuff, ten day I mean, they're almost certainly going to pop up within 10 days of the start of the month, right? I mean, unless this covert action is shorter than I think it's going to be, but I don't think so. I'm guessing it doesn't say how long it usually is. Um, I don't know if this, yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah, it, it doesn't really say.
Nine days till this. Now, because I'm just thinking again. Um, we have two assassin regions and three hunter regions, so there's about a sixty percent chance it could spawn in a hunter in a uh, or uh, we have three warlock regions, two assassin regions. So there's basically a 60% chance it could spawn in a warlock region next month. But there's also a chance that it spawns in the assassin's territory. She still shows up. <laughs> and the mission is considerably less favorable to us, right? Because, like I said, this enemy lineup does not... It's not the worst. Duelist, Purifier, Shield Bearer, Viper, Fire Viper, Lancer, Muton, Devastator, Fanatic, Crusader, Codex, Sectoid. The Crusader's problematic, but, I mean, there's nothing here which is like, oh my god, right? We're still on Force Level 15, so we're not looking at Sectopods yet, unless we switch over to 16 on the way over here which knowing our luck we probably will <sighs> we can evac out if we need to although that's obviously not desirable setting course for sector 9 western united states Alright, I'm going to figure out who I want to take out on this mission, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm bringing out a little bit of a different crew this time. I'm not bringing out a psionic because we only have one available. Next one is coming out, and the next one's available in four days, I think. But I kind of want to keep one available for... I guess perhaps a quote-unquote war critical mission like say the forge <laughs> for example um, so I mean this is kind of a middling group there's five lieutenants and a captain um, part partly because like I don't know Partly because if the assassin here is here and wrecks us, I don't want her to wreck a team full of majors. I'd rather have her wreck a team full of lieutenants. Um, sorry, but that's kind of the honest truth here. Um, so we're taking out Smiley. That's her first mission with uh, corrosive rounds and blue screen or uh, screen uh, frost bomb. Bulldog on her first mission out since being rescued with an acid grenade and talons. Shocking with medkit, of course, and poison rounds. Archangel with AP and a regular grenade. Googly with tracers and a mimic beacon. And Dagger also with AP. So I'm bringing him, of course, also because anti-assassin. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you here next time on XCOM 2 for the Chosen.